Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello there and welcome again, Gary. Good to be here. Always a Thanks. pleasure. We have uh, some great questions today. So Good. we're gonna jump right into this one that's in the news. Um, it's a case before the Supreme Court of Georgia. If a business contracts for an easement on another business property, does that relieve the property owner from liability in case of an injury, I guess, in that easement part? All right. Uh, interesting question. <laughs> Complicated. Who are, who are these people that call in these questions? Uh, anyway, so I think uh, the, the question is twofold. One is, does it change responsibility between the owner of the property and the easement holder? Mm -hmm. So let's say a business has an easement across somebody else's property. Well, that'll be defined by the terms of the agreement. So. There may be a uh, responsibility on the business owner now to clean the place or make sure the road's good or make sure it's safe. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, then the owner of the property would have a claim against the business owner who has the property right mm -hmm. to get reimbursed. So what we really see that as is an indemnity agreement. Now, it doesn't, that contract wouldn't affect someone who was injured by the failure to keep up the property. Mm -hmm. If I'm injured because the business owner didn't keep it up right, I probably still sue the, the owner, owner of okay. the property because I don't know that responsibility. Later I may learn, oh, well, he had assigned that right over to somebody else. And then the, then the owner of the property would say, business owner, pay me back. <laughs> yeah. Business owner, you defend me. You're responsible. But it wouldn't really affect the injured party. But that's an interesting question because who's responsible and how many layers of ownership and responsibility exist is sometimes an issue in cases, you know, where who had knowledge, who had responsibility, who had a duty to make things safe. Right. That's the question. Very good. Um, we have a Facebook question too. All right. This question is, if someone underage is served or sold alcohol, who is responsible, the establishment or the employee or the person? Well, uh, the driver, again, is going to be responsible for what they do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, though, if I'm hurt because that driver was overserved somewhere, there's, a, there's something called a dram shop action. Huh. Now, what is a dram shop action? I don't know. You know I haven't, this well, is have new. You ever, you ever heard that saying about scotch, like I want a wee dram of scotch? Or, yes. All right, well, it's a measure of alcohol, so okay. it dates way back. I just found that kind of interesting. Uh -huh. But So we call them dram shop actions. They're against bars okay. and, and if a bar overserves, knows someone's driving, knows they're likely to be driving, knows they're going to be a danger to the roads, they have a responsibility. So there's more than just the driver's responsibility potentially. Uh, good question. Very good. Thank you so much, Gary, and Thanks. we look forward to seeing you on the very next legal break.